This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Level 7-8, problem number 26. Sophia has 52 identical isosceles right angled triangles. She wants to make a square using some of them. How many different size squares can she make? A, 6, B, 7, C, 8, D, 9, or E, 10. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we'll be doing the solution. So, to start, we have, again, Sophia with 52 identical isosceles right angle triangles, and she wants to make different sized squares. So, the first thing that comes to mind when you think of isosceles right triangles and squares is probably this orientation shown right here. And we can call this form A of making a square. So we just take two, put them together, and we have a square. But there's actually also another way we can make a so-called unit um, square. And when I say unit, I mean it's not using this. So we can make more squares using this as a foundation, but we can also make another base square. And that is over here. And I'm going to call this form B. So in this case, we have four right angled isosceles triangles that are put together. And as you can see, it's different because here the side length is the hypotenuse of our isosceles right angled triangles. And over here, the leg of the isosceles right angle triangles makes up the side of the square. So that's how they differ. And then using these two forms, we can create more squares. So let's continue with form A for now. So we can put these form A squares into a two by two formation. And this is, again, this is not to scale. But basically, each one of the squares in the drawing represents this. So each of the four unit squares that make up the square are of form A. So what does that mean? That means that each has two isosceles right angle triangles that make it up. So that will lead to a total of 2 squared times 2, or 8 isosceles triangles make it up. And again, here we have 2. I'm just keeping track because we want to make sure that we stay under 52. So then we can also make a 3 by 3 figure. And again, I'm not going to write the 2s everywhere, but each unit is made up of 2 isosceles right triangles as shown over here. So what will this lead to? We have three squares. We have a total of nine unit squares, and each one is made up of two isosceles right triangles. So we have 18. Then in a four by four figure, again, each one has two. So we have four squared, 16 unit squares times two isosceles per square. It's a total of 32. And then we also have 5 squared. And again, I'm sorry, it's not, these images are not perfect, but you get the idea. On an actual test, you wouldn't need to draw it. I just did it for visual purposes. You can just imagine what that would look like. So we have 5 squared times 2, which is 50. And we just stayed right under the 52 limit. We can't go on to 6 by 6 because then we have. 6 squared, 36 times 2, 72, which is well above 52. So how many um, different sized squares can we make with form A? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now let's move on to form B. And again, this is not to scale. Here we have a 2 by 2, but keep in mind that each one is now made up of this base shape. So each unit will have four isosceles right triangles, so that's two squared times four, 16. And then we also have three squared. Again, each one is four. 
3 squared times 4 is equal to 36. And for this one, we can't go any further. If we have 4 by 4, we would have 16 times 4, 64, which again is above our limit of 52. So there's only 1, 2, 3 different um, size squares we can make with form B. So now we have 5 from form A, 3 from form B, or a total of 8. And that is answer choice C. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos.